Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Miss D. Today we're going to be talking about soda. Yes, soda, diet soda, beverage addiction, whichever way you want to look at it. A lot of us are addicted to soda. So, if you are triggered easily, if this is a touchy subject for you, you can watch another video, of course, but I challenge you to stick around and listen for a moment. It might get you. It might get you right where it hurts. This is a good thing. I like to be told truth when I'm ready for it, but you gotta be ready for it and you gotta be strong. Thank you for subscribing to Love Style. So it's a triggering topic to talk about soda because so many of us are addicted to our beverages. I don't hear a lot of people in the diet community talking about beverage addiction. We're always talking about food addiction, but part of your diet is what you drink. Hello, people. Soda is such a big problem. I'm very passionate about this. I gave up soda three years ago and I had to switch to water. You know, soda can have 12 to 17 ingredients. Turn it over, look at the soda you're drinking, whether it's diet or regular full sugar soda. They're both horrible. They're both horrible. I don't care what you're thinking right now. If you want to be mad at me, go ahead and be mad at me, but at least listen to what I have to say today. If you give up those 17 ingredients and you switch to water, you could even do coffee or tea, which is a way better alternative than 17 ingredients. How about one ingredient? Water. We're made up mostly of water. It's so damn obvious, Misty. Of course I'm gonna drink water. Drink water instead of soda. You know, if soda was so great for us, like the people who are drinking diet soda, at least we know full sugar soda is pretty much deemed the devil, which it is, but diet soda is also the devil's twin and terrible for us and terrible for our weight loss. This stuff causes pre-diabetes, diabetes, health problems, up the yin yang. You don't want to get sick just from drinking soda every day because it's a bad habit. Switch over your drink to water. I'm not even gonna promote other drinks today very much. You know, if soda was that great, when you were starting your low carb diet, which I know you're doing and sticking to, that would be the first thing they would tell you, whoever they are, nutritionists, dietitians, doctors, they don't recommend soda. You gotta make sure you get in your soda. Make sure to get in that diet soda. You know, talking about soda, you don't want chemicals, which there are many. Aspartame is in soda. I'll get to the different things in a moment, but it's basically poison. You're drinking poison every time you drink a soda or a diet soda. You do not bring a child into this world and make sure that you add soda to this child's life. Why would you? And you don't add it, excuse me. You don't take a can of soda and feed it to your plants. You don't take a can of soda or several cans of soda to wash your car, wash your body. Just think about it for a minute. I know it's really weird. It's like, Misty, you're so extreme. Yeah because this is how serious this is. You don't take soda unless you want to wash the paint off your car. That may actually work. Do you want to put it inside your body, your vessel? The human body, your flesh suit that God gave you to honor, to make the best of, to keep around for years to come without disease. Take the soda out of your life. Switch to water. Sparkling water is fine. They say tea and coffee is fine. It's definitely better than soda or diet soda. 
If you can make this transition, it may take a little bit. Dr. Berg, ding, who I talk about a lot because I think he's brilliant, says kicking a diet soda or a soda addiction only takes three days. I know you can give it three days. This is for your health, your health. So you can be around for your grandkids, so you can be around for your husband, so you can take that trip you've always wanted to take, so you can live the life that you want to live healthily, be able to do some active things. This is super important. Do not be a slave to a chemical substance. You wouldn't want to be a slave to drugs. You may look at someone who takes drugs and not understand why they're a slave to a chemical substance. Food is no different. And what we're talking about today is soda and beverages are no different. If they are loaded with poison, that is a chemical substance all rolled into one or several chemical substances rolled into one. When you drink liquids, it goes into your bloodstream pretty quickly. Now even food takes a little time, but I'm pretty sure that that liquid goes into your body very, very quickly. This is very troublesome for most Americans and most people around the world. So we talk a lot here on Love Style about diet. I love the carnivore diet. I love low carb diets. I love the keto diet. I lost 55 pounds in eight sizes. Took me three years, still going. Haven't gained any fat since three years ago. I'm very proud about that. What we're talking about is low carb diets, whichever you choose, paleo, carnivore, keto, just low carb, low carb, high fats. There's many names for very similar diets, but we're avoiding carbs. When you look at a label on the back of a soda can, you will see the carbs and the sugar. Now, many of us, on low carb, we look at the carbs and the sugar. We don't really look at anything else. Let's be honest. We're just learning to read labels sometimes after eating the standard American diet all these years. You know, we've been putting poison into our body left and right. I used to drink a lot of ginger ale. I thought ginger ale, regular sugar ginger ale, was better for me than Coke, let's say. It's not better, it's the same damn thing. We're reading labels, we're looking at carbs, we're looking at sugar because we're trying to lose weight. Check out the ingredients. Just like when you're afraid to step on the scale, I think people are afraid to look at ingredients because they're uncomfortable with it. You know, when you're uncomfortable with something, you just find ways around it and you tell yourself little stories in your head. You might even believe the stories. Well, diet soda is supposed to be okay. It doesn't have any calories or sugar and it doesn't have any carbs. So I must be drinking healthy things here if I'm having diet soda. No, there was a study done in 2008, which is a few years back, but this is how long ago we could have known about this. Maybe some of you do. Maybe some of you are looking at me like, Misty, I already know this. I drink water every day. Our body's made up of 90% or 97% water, whatever it is. I don't have that stat on me. But in 2008, there was a study done from the Journal of Circulation where they found out, and it's published, check it out if you want, that diet soda is no better for the body than regular soda. This is nuts. This is like the opposite of what a lot of people walking around there think. Now, have you ever seen that person? And don't take offense to this, but that person, it may be you, it may be half the world, where, you know, they're eating pretty healthy, but they're drinking diet soda all day. And really, it's not just soda. It's a lot of the energy drinks. You know, you have Red Bull, you have the delicious coffees that are very expensive. You have Gatorade, Powerade. I used to drink the heck out of some Powerade. I thought it was healthier. You know, it's bright red. I should have known right away. That is a signal to us. There are sneaky ways 
that the food industry or the drink or beverage industry tries to get us to drink these things. Bright colors, delicious taste, of course. You know, Coke, I gotta call them out. They even put your name on the can. If you're looking for a drink and you're still drinking soda, you're gonna pick a can that has your name on it. Why wouldn't you? You know, they're trying to seduce you, pull you in, and it works for a lot of us. You know, so let's be aware of these things. It's very easy to get pulled in. The study in 2008 that was done on diet soda from the Journal of Circulation proved, and this is from Thomas DeLauer, I wanna give him credit. I did not read the full study. This guy knows his stuff. Maybe we'll put a picture here of Thomas DeLauer. He's very good. He does his homework. Proved the number one leading cause of obesity is diet soda. The number one cause for obesity worldwide is diet soda. This kills me. And it could kill you if you don't start paying attention to what you're drinking. I can't stress this enough. This is so much of a big problem. If you look at that person that you know, and we all know somebody, it may even be us, that doesn't eat very badly, they eat pretty good. You see them bringing their salads, you see them bringing in the diet to fit a good lifestyle, but they're drinking the diet soda all day long. They're addicted to that sweet taste. It may be a bridge to get them through to the next meal, but they don't ever seem to get any smaller. I'm not trying to be mean here. This was me here. I didn't do the diet soda, I did regular soda few years ago, but I ate very well and I couldn't understand why I couldn't lose weight. My weight would go up year after year, month after month. I was also drinking alcohol. This is no different. These are chemicals. These are poisons. Again, you wouldn't use Coke to clean your body, to give to your baby or your child. If you're smart, you don't use Coke to put into your plants to get them to thrive. You don't use Coke, and I don't just mean Coke, I mean soda, diet or regular, to clean anything except the paint off your car. This is so important. The worst one of all is Diet Mountain Dew. It has 17 poisons in it. Maybe they're not all poison. It has 17 ingredients in it. Some of them are poisonous to your body. Your body cannot absorb the nutrients, if there's any, in soda. There is a whole host of problems that can arise if you drink soda, if you drink diet soda. I'm not gonna get too far into the sweetener names. That could be a different video. And there's a lot of videos out there, but aspartame is one of the sweeteners that's used in, let's say, Diet Coke, one of the leading popular sodas. There's caramel color, which is a derivative of non-GMO corn that is boiled down to be a very thick protein, not the good kind of protein, but a protein that gets stuck in parts of your body to put it in a very easy to understand language. So the caramel color is not good for us. You know, aspartame is the worst of all the sweeteners. Most of us know this, linked to cancer. Yes, it was a study done a while back, performed on rats. Still, let's keep it out of our diet. There's a lot of other sweeteners added that are way sweeter than sugar that they are adding to your diet soda. And they even sometimes add it to regular soda and other products just to make things so sweet. So you get addicted to that sweets 
and you need more of that sweet. This is very bad. You know, even though some will say, well, it doesn't raise my blood sugar or my insulin because it's diet. The sweet taste, it's coming out now that just the sweet taste of it can actually trick your body into thinking you're eating sugar just as easily. Raising insulin, which is a hormone that's very important to keep low, and it goes into the stomach and it wrecks your health. We also have phosphoric acid, which is something that's bad for us. It wrecks our teeth. I don't know about you, but when I drink cola or sugary soda, you get that gritty feeling on your teeth. Now, I don't know if that's the sweetener, the sugar, or the phosphoric acid. Either way, I wanna keep my teeth nice. That's why I'm on carnivore. Your teeth grow back even better. And your gums improve, but that's for a different topic. We don't want these things in our drink. Stop being a beverage addict. Don't be addicted to the beverage that is going to ruin your life, that is going to make you die 20 years earlier than you need to. Let's get some stuff done while we're here. Pursue your dreams. If a drink that I choose every day to drink is gonna stop me from living or pursuing my dreams, having a long enough time to do these things that I still wanna do, I'm gonna switch my drink and I'm gonna choose water every time. Zero calories in water, zero carbs in water, zero ingredients or poison in water. If you don't drink tap water, stay away from tap water. That is something I feel very strongly about and go for filtered or spring water something like that. I would stay away from tap water. Again, I will talk about water later. Choose water. When you are sick in the hospital, actually a lot of hospitals will probably give you soda, which is sad in America. But the first thing they do when you come out of a surgery or you're sick is hydrate you not only intravenously, but water. They don't go right to the soda. It's not good for you. Why would they do that? This is so obvious. But I like to talk about these obvious things because I watch a lot of YouTube and I like to re remind myself of the obvious things that I have maybe slacked off on. Now, it's not drinking soda, but I do drink sparkling water. This is another option. Maybe I should be talking more about sparkling water. Be careful when you buy sparkling water that it has no sweeteners. They try to throw those in there. They try to get the packaging so you think it's super healthy. Some of the sparkling water has the crap in it too. Make sure there are no sweeteners in your sparkling water. Now, some people will gravitate towards tea and put a little bit of the packet of sweetener in there. I say try to drink the tea without the packet or just stick with water. I drink coffee in the morning. I put a little cream, heavy cream in my coffee and that's my indulgence that I haven't kicked yet is coffee. And the other beverage I may have besides the few I mentioned is a cacao shake for dessert now and then. And I will put a little bit of stevia, which is turning out to be the best choice for a lot of people regarding sweeteners. If you must have a sweet taste to get you over this bridge of going into less sweet in your life, you can be sweet, but you don't have to consume so much sweet. And uh, liquid stevia is my favorite. I will promote that. I don't do well with monk fruit, lacanto, erythritol blends. That's going to be a whole video on its own. I don't want to dog them out too much. Some people have no problem, but be very careful of erythritol if I'm saying it right. That's just a side note. I was sick for an entire week. It was very, very bad. I even had to skip a video. 
I don't know if you noticed the other week. So I'm wearing my shirt today to talk about soda. I got my little bubbles on and let's reconsider our beverages, please. This will change your life. You will lose weight so much faster and you will feel so much lighter and cleaner inside. Give this a shot of skipping the soda. So in conclusion about soda, diet soda, we know it's bad for us. So let's stop kidding ourselves today. Put the soda down. I bet you you're drinking one right now. Put that sucker away. Even if you have to baby step your way away from soda, just remove one soda a day if you have more than one. Try replacing it with the water. It's just a couple hours you gotta get through. You won't die if you drink water. You won't die if you drink water. I will guarantee you, if you drink water instead of soda, you won't die. Now emotionally you may feel deprived. How many years have you drank soda? It's time to change. It's 2020, we're all adapting in ways that make us super uncomfortable. Be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Get the diet soda out of your life. Get the soda out of your life. Maybe kick your favorite drink. If you turn that over and start reading all of the ingredients, there is no way on a low carb diet, you will lose weight faster by adding 17 ingredients to your beverage that you drink three times a day. There is no way, I don't care what anybody says about this, I feel so intuitively strong in my opinion about this. There may be people or trolls or haters that are gonna argue with me, that's fine. I can handle it, I am strong in my conviction about this. Be strong in your convictions. Be a person who's proud of their decisions. Make good choices. Give up the soda. It's the leading cause of obesity. Diet soda, regular soda, even more than food choices. And it's a little bit of a shock sometimes to hear this stuff, but it's good for us to know the truth. You know, you may not be losing weight and you can't figure out, you know, why am I not losing weight? I'm eating so well and this happened to me. And it's the beverages sometimes. It's that simple. Think of it as a simple solution. Drink the water. You can drink some tea or coffee. You have to be careful of the caffeine. I forgot to mention this. Caffeine is one of the ingredients in most of these sodas. I didn't even talk about caffeine. And very quickly, we know that small amounts of caffeine and coffee supposedly is okay for us, one cup a day, that sort of thing. Caffeine all day long is very, very bad for you. I'm gonna have to do a separate video on why that is true. You can look it up until I get there. Caffeine will mess up your sleep, it can mess up your hormones, and it can affect your health and your weight loss. It can raise cortisol, raise insulin, these kind of things. We wanna thank you for tuning into Love Style. We also wanna thank you, I'm getting more subscribers. Slow and steady wins the race. There's no race here, Misty, I know. Slow and steady is the way we do it here. Our channel is growing slowly and steadily. And I believe in that, that works for me and my lifestyle and our lifestyle here at Love Style. We wanna thank you for listening to our music. That's Black Eyed Soul. Our new album will be out in a few more months. It's sent to press already. And as long as they don't take longer to do that, like they're taking to do a lot of other things, it's called Yes. And I hope you're looking forward to it as much as we are. We're very excited. And I didn't drink any soda while I recorded. 
this album or alcohol. Thank you for tuning into Love Style. Stop drinking soda. Start losing weight. Keep the chemicals out of your life and don't give up your power to a chemical substance and a soda full of 12 to 17 ingredients we don't need is a chemical substance. It's a bomb of poison to your body, your vessel that you want to treat beautifully. You know I'm right about the soda. Diet two. Don't get triggered. Just give it a shot. And we'll see you next time on Love Style. Peace. Out.